Apparently the BBC could do a show about the breakup of uh, the Union in Glasgow and give it an orange background. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Scotland should be an independent country because we are a unique nation. The only people who give travel reviews entirely in alcohol prices. <laughs> How is Prague? How was it? £1.30 for a litre of vodka. <laughs> and 40p a pint. Does that have good museums? Quite possibly, yes. <laughs> There's a lot of economic uncertainty about independence. The Scottish people are worried about whether or not we get to retain Poundland. Uh, <laughs> we could do well in the world. I think there's industries that we could do well in, like euthanasia, for example. <laughs> Switzerland has that at the minute. Now, Switzerland's beautiful and it's friendly. Nobody wants to leave that behind. Glasgow could dominate that industry. <laughs> and not just Glasgow, you'd land in Glasgow and you'd have to get a bus out to an industrial estate in Bells Hill. <laughs> By the time people got there, they'd be begging for you to kill them with a hammer in the face. They wouldn't even want the silk pillow and the poison chocolate. Just put a sledgehammer in my temple and kill me like a pig in an abattoir. <laughs> Glasgow would be so good at euthanasia, they'd be waiting lists so long, people would be dying from natural causes. <laughs> we'll have an oil development fund that we can blow like a mental pools winner. There'll be a button in Ballock Town Centre that turns Loch Lomond into a jacuzzi. <laughs> Coat Bridge will have an actual functioning time capsule. <laughs> and we'll be so rich and self-confident as a nation, we'll tell jokes like that that English people can't even understand. <laughs> What's a time capsule? I have no idea. What's a Coat Bridge? Now, to explain unionism to you, unionism, to be fair, is simply the belief that two small, pretty similar countries might be better off together, unless those countries are both part of Ireland. <laughs> we have become more anglicised as a nation. People say things like, jog on now. Anyone who says jog on can fuck off. <laughs> Now, some people say they don't want independence because they don't want Alex Salmond in power. How long does he look like he's going to live? <laughs> he has the life expectancy of full-fat milk. <laughs> Could be lucky to make the vote. <laughs> Matt Hamster has picked out a suit for his funeral. <laughs> Says he gets death threats, Salmond. They better hurry up. <laughs> he gets a death threat every morning from his bathroom scales. <laughs> I think the best thing about being openly pro-independence is I get maybe half a dozen tweets a day telling me that I don't understand economics from Rangers fans. <laughs> the last one was a wee guy with a club crest as his logo going, you're 110% wrong about this. <laughs> I'll tell you a true story, right? A couple of weeks ago, I went for lunch in the Merchant City. And we're sitting outside having lunch, and there's a BAM drinking across from me. Now, a BAM, if you're not Scottish, is a gentleman of a lively disposition. <laughs> and some American tourists come by, and for some reason, they go up and speak to this guy. And the American tourist says, excuse me, sir, is there somewhere around here that we could buy fruit? And the BAM went, no. And the American said, but isn't this the old fruit market? And it was, it was the old fruit market in the Merchant City. And the BAM, to be fair to him, had perfect comic timing. <laughs> he let it hang for a couple of beats and then he went, there's a reason they don't call it the new fruit market. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that that would be a good thing about independence. Scotland would no longer have to invade places like Afghanistan for American interests. We'd invade them for heroin. Because <laughs> I don't 
don't support America's wars. I don't even think they are wars. There's they're one way traffic, mass murder. There's never been a time when a shepherd has beaten a helicopter. <laughs> you never switch on the news to see a shock result in Afghanistan today when a missile was destroyed by a wedding. Because <laughs> not only will America go to your country and kill all your people, but what's worse, I think, is they'll come back 20 years later and make a movie about how killing your people made their soldiers feel sad. <laughs> oh, boo -hoo -hoo. Americans making a movie about what Vietnam did to their soldiers is like a serial killer telling you what stopping suddenly for hitchhikers did to his clutch. <laughs> Nigel Farage came to Edinburgh, got chased by an angry mob and hid in a pub. Hid from Scottish people in a pub. That's like hiding from a lion by dressing up as a zebra. <laughs> We've got the EDL attacking mosques in revenge for terrorism. It's like attacking JJB Sports in revenge for Jimmy Savile. <laughs> David Cameron is an opportunist. He jumped on the bandwagon about those Nigerian schoolgirls. Oh, let's find those missing schoolgirls. If you want to find those missing schoolgirls, let's get Britain's celebrity paedophiles out there. <laughs> They'll find them. Let's get a dirty dozen style mission on the go. <laughs> Only a dozen, so quite a lot of competition for places. <laughs> Let's work Rolf Harris like a fucking sniffer dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Rolf? Have you got something? <laughs> You know, my last word about the independence campaign, actually, is I think it's been a very middle-class campaign on both sides. And I think that's because both sides are worried about drawing normal people into the political process. And that's a sad thing. And it comes from the fact that middle-class Scottish people and working-class Scottish people are completely different things. Middle-class Scottish people are civil, but not friendly. Oh, well, you're looking for the post office down at the end of the road on your left. Working class Scottish people, however, are friendly, but not civil. <laughs> post office, morning I'll show you, you dick. Oi! <laughs> it's been a pleasure talking to you, Glasgow. Take care of yourselves, all the best. <laughs>